hello everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so dear students as fifth semester examinations are near now so i think this is the right time to give you the passing packages for the subjects okay so that you can prepare very well as uh, today i am with the uh, subject finite element analysis fea for the mechanical engineering students it is subject code is 21 me 53 so this subject is totally a mixture of theoretical concepts and problematic concepts okay so if you are good in the problematic part definitely you can easily score more than 80 marks or 90 marks in this particular subject but if you are struggling with the problematic part uh, then you have to cover only the theoretical concepts so in that particular manner it becomes very typical for the students to pass the subject so you should be good in both problematic part and theoretical part so let me discuss here the most important questions which will appear in the examination which will definitely help you to pass this particular subject okay so first module is the passing module in which you can easily cover 20 marks i am assuring you people uh, without attending the problems in module first you can easily score 20 marks so these are the important questions like what are the steps involved in fem or fea finite element method finite element analysis whatever you call it write down advantages and disadvantages and applications of fea okay this is the most important one super important question next is what is simplex complex and multiplex elements again an important one what is the node numbering scheme and write down its importance it may be the question over there and what are plan stress and plan strain problems shape function for linear 1d element okay next is what is the principle of minimum potential energy most important one and next most uh, sorry last but not least in this particular module derive strain displacement relationships for a 2d elastic body so these are the questions if you cover these uh, these type of questions you will easily get 20 marks in this particular module so don't leave anything whatever i have mentioned over here so go through these varieties of questions as you know already there is a vast of sil vast syllabus in this uh, particular subject so better to go for these type of questions which i mentioned so that you can easily focus on other uh, subjects also so next is the module 2 which is again a passing module in which you have to cover some derivations like derive strain displacement matrix for a three noded triangular element or uh, sometimes they will give you the cst element okay so derive stiffness matrix for a plan truss element again an important one derive shape function for two noded bar element and derive the shape function for one dimensional quadratic element in a natural coordinate system these are the derivations as far as problematic part is concerned so there are problems on straight bars stepped bars and tapered bars and analysis of trusses this will be in the or part okay so uh, these problems are very simpler ones you can easily practice but uh, only thing is you should need a lot of practice for these problems that is analysis of trusses and bars very simpler ones okay once uh, you go through you will find easiness in this problem and also i have uploaded uh, the analysis of trusses if you find some difficulties in 8 cross 8 matrix formation of 8 cross 8 matrix uh, 6 cross 6 is easier one uh, it is readily available on the youtube also but you will not get 8 cross 8 matrix problem in the youtube so instead of searching you can go through my description box i have provided the link for these analysis of trusses where you are making 8 cross 8 matrix with ease over there okay so next this is all about the module a second okay which is a passing module go through these varieties of problems straight bars stepped bars and tapered bars and analysis of trusses by which you can easily score right next is module third in which one definite question is there like uh, derive the hermite shape function for beam element and plot them next is derive stiffness matrix for a circular shaft subjected to a pure torsion this is super important question okay so it, this will be in the uh, another part as there are two chapters you know already in the modules so this will be in the second part like derived stiffness matrix for a circular shaft subject to a pure torsion and next is derived stiffness matrix for a beam elements okay and problems if you just go through this derivation so you should go through the torsion of shafts okay if you are covering this derivation then definitely go for the problem that is torsion of shafts it is a very easier one where you are supposed to calculate the maximum citrus over there okay so go through these torsion of shaft problems okay next is a beam problems if you are going through this derivation that is hermite shape function then definitely you should go through this beam problems were there okay so more and more is more and more you should practice uh, problems on torsion of shafts which are easier ones as compared to the beam problems where you are supposed to calculate the deflection over there okay so uh, this is not the passing module i'm not uh, calculating this uh, as a passing module over there there is a reason just because if you are not covering the problematic part then you can uh, get only 10 marks for this derivation over there okay so next is pod, um, module 4 which is a passing module in which you have to cover some derivations like derived stiffness matrix for flow through porous medium 
or derive only heat conductive finite element matrix using variational method and next is discuss the derivation of one dimensional heat transfer in thin fin it is again a super important question okay super important question that is derivation of one dimensional heat transfer in thin fin so next is explain different types of boundary conditions used in heat transfer problems derive differential equation in 1d uh, for fluid flow through porous medium so these are the theoretical deriv sorry derivations over there which you have to cover okay and also go through the problems these fluid flow problems are very simpler ones compared to, to the heat transfer problems if you are convenient with heat transfer also heat transfer problems then go through uh, there is no difficulty in it but my preference is just to go through fluid flow problems there are only three to four problems definitely from those four problems uh, one or two will come in the appear in the examinations so this is all about the module fourth okay so you have to cover these derivations whatever i am telling here as uh, there is a vast syllabus which you cannot cover probably over there okay so next is the more model fifth in which most important question which i call the super important one that is derive shape function for asymmetric triangular element or derive the strain displacement matrix for axisymmetric uh, constant strain triangular element next is derive stiffness matrix of axisymmetric bodies with triangular element so definitely go first priority should be this question so most important one is uh, always asked in the video examination and uh, some problems you have to practice from this particular module or go through the another part that is derive the consistent ma mass matrix of two noded bar element or derive mass matrix of 1d bar element these two questions will appear in the r part and there are some problems which are eigen values and eigen vectors a little bit difficult then rather modules okay if you want to pass only then go through this uh, derivation over there okay it will be the 15 marks or 12 marks over there 15 marks or sometimes 12 marks derivation and one problem will be there which you should definitely go through so for the preference i will tell you uh, the book name so you should bring this so see here finite element method uh, this is dr babu er and dr nagra jc ready for your reference so go through this book you will find out the varieties of problems in this so practice more and more and uh, i wish you the i wish you all the best for your examinations and i wish you will uh, clear this particular subject with flying clothes over there okay so